Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is running shoes. Running shoes are so um, necessary, right? Or we think they're necessary. So I am a guy who likes no cushion, no support. I'm a minimalist. I like to feel the pavement. I like to feel the ground. I don't like to feel the rocks poking into me, but I, I, I like to sort of feel that I'm, I'm connected somehow. So I'm a big fan of the Vibram Five Fingers. I'm a big fan of the Innovates, which have of a very very small drop and really no cushion so my my theory for years on running is to get these type of shoes these minimalist type of shoes because it helps the body run properly so if you were to jump rope and i, I was just explaining this to one of the person i was running with yesterday she was like show me show me proper form i said well if, imagine jump roping if you're jump roping and landing on your heels it's going to hurt if you jump rope and you're landing on your toes it's gonna be much better. I said, that's how you wanna run. You wanna run the, to the mid to the fours of your foot and be like you're prancing along. And she's like, wow, that's kinda of hard. And she's been running a while. I said, yeah, it takes your body a little bit to get used to it. I said, but there's a lot of benefit to, to this type of running. And of course, when I went to the store the other day, I told them exactly what I was looking for. I said, I'm, I run in a minimal shoe. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I like zero drop. I like, like no cushion or as little cushion as possible. And they said, well, we have this great thing called shoe dog and we'll put you into this thing. We'll, we'll analyze your foot, your arches, how you're weighing and this and that and we'll, how you're running. So I did all this and they pull out the front of this report and they want to put me like in a cushioned shoe with some kind of an arch. And I put these shoes on and I'm like, and I said, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to do it anyway and just see how these shoes feel. I put them on, I'm like, they just don't, they just don't feel that good. I was actually interested in going to the store for hookahs. Because a lot of my friends are now running in hookahs, or hokas, I think you call them hokas, hookahs, I'm not sure how you say them. A lot of my friends are running those, those, those platform shoes with extra cushion, but they do have like a zero drop or like a three millimeter drop one of that, that is, that is, has not less of an, a much, much less of an arch and much less of a drop. So I try on all these shoes and I'm like, man, I just, just don't. I'm not feeling all these shoes. And she had all these, she had like six pairs of shoes out. And I said, you know what, let me try those pairs on over there, the Innovates with a three millimeter drop. And I tried those on, I'm like, what? And she didn't have my size. I wasn't looking to buy shoes. I was just looking to try the hookahs out. That's all I was looking to do, was just try them out. I've heard a lot about them. They had six, seven styles in stock. I just wanted to try them out. So I try on these Innovates, minimal cushion, minimal, minimal drop. I'm like, wow, these feel so much better. I just feel like I can, I can now get up on my toes again, like prance. And I ran for the first time yesterday in about two months. Well, the first time I had a decent, serious run in about two months because I've been fighting plantar fasciitis. My talus bone was out. I knocked my talus bone out at some point doing something. My chiropractor put it back into place. So I had my first run yesterday in two months. It felt great. I had one of the one of my miles was under eight minutes, which I think is great for not being out there for two months. So. I pulled up an article that just popped up. Uh, I subscribed to a lot of Google news alerts, and I, running is one of the Google news alerts. So barefoot running builds momentum. This, is, this article is exactly what I've been saying for years. Humans were meant to run barefoot. Now this is in the sh uh, shorthorn.com. Humans were meant to run barefoot. Shoes are made necessary by man, not nature, nursing sophomore Kim Pham said, because we were born naked. Barefoot running improves form, finance junior Richard Stanley said. It's something Stanley has been participating in for four years now. This running style popularized by Daniel Lieberman's journal in Nature in 2010 regarding the topic, kinesiology professor Mark Richards said Lieberman discussed how the evolutionary man ran. Now, I went to a kinesiologist, my chiropractor is a kinesiologist, and he swears by the Vibram Five Fingers, he's always wearing them. He's the one who put my talus bone back in. Um, he's the one who told my talus bone was out, causing the plantar fasciitis. He said I must have injured it somehow, somewhere, doing something, maybe on a run. I do a lot of trail running, maybe I slipped and I do a lot of, when I trail run, I tend to fall, um, especially on the longer runs. Um, so, uh, early man couldn't go to a Nike store. So he ran barefoot, Richard said. Barefoot running is more efficient versus running with shoes, Stanley said. It improves running posture and helps fight pronation when the foot rolls while running, he said. So my whole thing I tell people is, all those, that support and cushion in that shoe and those arches and drops, it's forcing you to actually run wrong. And people think they're going to get more support and more because they're, they're actually gonna improve. But 
I've read lots of articles stating that, you know, until Nike came out with this whole running shoe in the late 60s, that um, bear, uh, marathons could be one barefoot, or were, were, were one running barefoot. And once we had these Nike shoes, this boom in the 70s, when we started having all these running problems, because it's forcing your body to run in a way that your body's not designed to run. So of course you're gonna have issues with down the road on, on something. Um, I run barefoot because it helps me with the running form and helps Dieter heel striking. So heel striking, that's super important. Imagine that scenario again of jump roping and striking on your heels. That's heel striking. So it forces you not to heel strike when you run barefoot or with one of the Vibrams or even when you run with shoes that are much more minimalist, no cushion. With all those cushions and paddings, you can heel strike all you want and you'd have no idea that your, that your form is that off. So that, uh, that is one reason, uh, or the main reason why I tell people, hey, you wanna get good running form again? Go to the track, run one lap barefoot, and practice just good form. Don't worry about three miles, five miles, six miles. Do one lap barefoot, or put the Vibram Five Fingers on, and do that, and run around, and feel, prance around that track, and then all of a sudden, a couple days later, now you're gonna use different muscles. You use totally different muscles, not totally, but you can use some different muscles, like your calf muscles are gonna be different. Your certain muscles the next day are gonna be like, wow, I've been running, but now I'm running in a different stance. I feel things burning that are, have not been burning before. So, heel striking is when the heel hits the ground first rather than the forefoot, he said. Heel striking, uh, uh, just no way of running, was developed with shoes introduced by running to catch her. To catch her dog, nursing sophomore Kimberly Tron said she runs barefoot but doesn't actively participate in the activity. It depends on the weather outside, but I would consider doing it, she says. Running barefoot is a better option because shoes tend to collect bacteria, which develops a distinct odor, Tran said. And I guess that would be true. You know, we all know what smelly shoes um, smell like. Uh, one thing that we do, when my, if I have shoes that, that are like, obviously I wash the shoes, which helps. Um, but baking soda is a huge, uh, huge thing uh, to put in your shoes to help stop odor. Vibram Five Fingers are shoes that are sold with the separate toes similar to a glove. So those are the Vibram Five Fingers where your toes are separate. You might see people wearing those. Vibrams weren't originally created for running, but are now used for that purpose, Stanley said. They can help transition from running with traditional shoes to running barefoot, he said. Barefoot running causes blisters to develop, which eventually turn into calluses. This makes the foot sturdier later on. That's interesting. Muscles contract after running barefoot consistently, hmm. making the, making a smaller foot. I did not know that. Um, so he said he's actually gone down a whole size since he started doing it in the last four years. I did not know that. Muscles contract after running barefoot consistently, making a smaller foot. Hmm. That's really interesting. So, running barefoot versus running in full support shoes. The first thing that I would suggest if anybody is a runner or wants to run is really get online, watch some videos on proper running form and understand how the body's meant to run. And then just do that experiment, go to the track, so the track's a nice soft cushion and do a, a one lap, which is a quarter of a mile around barefoot and really, you know, Focus on stance the whole way. Focus on posture. Focus on, on all that, on the form. So you want to stand up, lean forward on your toes, and then just tap. When you see a boxer in a ring, he's all on the toes, right? Very light. That's how you want to be on your feet. You want to be very, very light, which activates your Achilles tendon, which is basically a shock absorber in your leg. In fact, humans are the only ones with an Achilles tendon. Uh, thus, we are runners because that is a built-in shock absorber. So get light on your fore forefoot and just prance right around there. Don't worry about time at all. It actually improves your time, believe it or not. Once you get used to it and understand the effects of that, you can actually, you know, you'll glide much through. When you see people running sometimes, you just see how, how their form isn't that good. They just look like they're miserable or they look like, um, they look like they're clumsy. That's just because they're running wrong. Okay, most likely they're running wrong. If you get if you get up on those on, on those fours and really just prance around, it's like a boxer. Imagine a boxer looking clumsy in a uh, in a boxing ring, right? To a boxer that's just light and fluffy and light on his toes, same thing. So, barefoot running. Um, I don't do exactly per se barefoot, but I do the Vibram um, a lot, uh, and then I do uh, minimal shoes. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on.